Hi everyone. Well, this is the the motor that I'm using. It's reasonably compact. I've got it mounted onto a steel base plate with a couple of exhaust 68 mm exhaust clamps. There are just two wires come out of the motor, so it's easy to reverse the direction just by switching the polarity. I've got a 20 tooth gear fixed to the end. Uh, these gears we cut ourselves. They're quite easy to do once, once you've mastered it. Well, that's that's the motor unit anyway. I have the motor mounted onto the back of the the new headstock. It, it just swivels up and down like that. But pretty much its own weight is enough to tension the belt. But I've got this a bolt stop there when it's on. Just the little belt. If I can get that on. That's it. I just need to adjust the motor slightly side to side to get the belt running correctly. This is the power supply that's just arrived from our friends in China. I've got it rigged up temporarily now just for test purposes. A couple of crocodile clips. I don't know if you can see that that little adjuster there. You can adjust the voltage from around about 18.5 up to 28. With a multimeter I've checked it and I've got it set at exactly 24 volts which is what the motor requires. I suppose switch the motor off a minute. I'm going to wire into this um, a pulse width modulator type speed controller which should give me virtually zero up to 2000 and a bit plus a forward and reverse switch but it's it's ideal for turning small stuff much better than the, the around about 700 rpm I think it is maximum on a Myford you get, get a great finish particularly on harder stuff like stainless steel Right, here it is rigged up on the lathe with the belt on. I've got it hooked up to the power supply. Um, now this, I must emphasise, this is only temporary. I've got belt guards to make yet. This is this is purely for test purposes. I've got a, a digital tachometer here. We'll try and test the speed, see what we're getting. This is at 24 volts. about 2150 rpm which is ideal for high speed turning. 